Welcome back guys to another one. Well, when we thought we saw everything from Noctua in terms of air cooler tower variations, here we have the D12L, which is a dual asymmetrical 120mm low profile air cooler that comes with a bespoke fan and apparently promises even more compatibility with all the major platforms. So let's play with it. At just 145mm tall, this D12L should give you plenty of choices with some small form factor cases alongside the 4U standard, especially when you think about it that most 120mm CPU coolers are around 150 to 160mm tall. Now if you plan to use RAM with low profile heatsinks, then you can attach a second NFA12 X25R fan that will further use the advantages of the dual tower heatsink design. This translates of course to a lot of cooling headroom for something with such a low height footprint. The D12L retails for around 90 bucks, while the bespoke fan will cost you 30 bucks. It's worth mentioning that since you have to use Noctua's custom fan, this becomes a combo deal which will cost you as much as a D15S or a U12A, so it's up to you to decide if it's worth it. As you would expect, both the D12L and the bespoke fan carry the highly popular branding of any Noctua product with rich specs and highlights. The fan has an interesting graph on the inner side of the flap, while on the right there is a cutout to see the actual fan. It resides safely in its plastic tray with its accessories in a separate section. Noctua provides all of the accessories that you'll ever require, like low noise adapter, extension cable and even a Y splitter. Back to the CPU cooler, where security is tight, with the heatsink cocooned in the middle of the box, while the accessory box acts as a top cover. All the accessories are stored neatly inside, with a quick visual inventory on the cover. The D12L comes out of the box, both Intel LGA1700 and AMD M5 socket ready, and as you can see the designation on the Intel backplate and on the appropriate instruction booklet. Even the new spaces are colored in blue. Now for the fan which uses the same platform of their most advanced 120mm they have ever produced to date. The key difference comes from the custom hole spacing of 93 by 83 mm instead of the standard 105 by 105 hole spacing of the square frame 120mm fans. It has all of the hallmarks that we know from Noctua and it's rated up to 2000 RPM, push over 100 cubic meters an hour with a static pressure of 2.34 mm water column while not going over 22.6 decibels of sound. It features the amazing magnetic oil based hydronomic bearings rotor technology called SSO2. Then the blades have metal reinforcements and flow acceleration channels in order to lower vortex noise and achieve higher airflow efficiency. Since Noctua builds their products with incredible quality control and thus tight tolerances, the blades sit at just 0.5mm from the frame, where most fans are over 2mm and above. When they spin there is a challenge to overcome called impeller creep which basically means that the blades may touch the frame due to stretching. To overcome this, Noctua developed a new material called Sterox, which is a liquid crystal polymer that has much better dimensional stability and less creep as compared to conventional thermoplastics such as ABS, PA, PBT or PC. Now this is one of the key features of the D12L, its low height of just 145mm, where most 120mm L coolers are between 150 to 160. It weighs just 700 grams without the main fan, or 890 with it in place, while being 113mm in depth, 138mm with a potential second fan, and 125 in width. In order to offer full RAM compatibility, it uses an asymmetrical design for its dual tower heatsinks. Hence why adding the potential and optional second fan, then you must be prepared to use memory modules with low profile heatsinks. Build quality is top notch as per Noctua's reputation and legacy. It uses 5 copper nickel plated heat pipes that spread along the 40 aluminium fins. The exhaust tower has this exact cutout pattern to its side for better overall airflow and turbulence reduction. Lastly, the contact plate is also nickel plated and perfectly machined with almost a mirror finish. Since Noctua released the Secure Firm 2 multi socket mounting system, the installation process is really easy regardless of the platform you will use. Focusing on AMD's AM4, the sequence is as follows. Retain the stock motherboard backplate and attach the AM4 specific gray spacers. Secure the metal brackets while making sure they face inwards. 
apply your thermal paste and then ball down the heatsink. In its stock form with one fan there is no compatibility issue all around the socket area. If you want to install the second fan then you must make sure you use LP RAM like Corsair LPX series for example. As you can see, as per its main purpose, the Noctua D12L feels right at home, even in this Silverstone Micro ATX enclosure that I also covered if you wanna check it out. Testing time. The CPU cooler will be tested in three main scenarios as follows. The AMD Ryzen 5 5600X CPU at stock settings, then at 4 GHz for 1.05 V as the main baseline to remove any inconsistencies in the stock form where the BIOS will pump extra voltage for shorter periods. And finally in an overclock scenario of 4.7 GHz for 1.275 V. I mentioned this with all of my clips, so the 5600X despite its official 65W TDP rating, we all know since the release of the 3000 Ryzen series from AMD, that will not respect that when it boosts, that this is a hot CPU even in stock form. The fact that this dual tower single 120mm fan CPU cooler can cope in an overclock scenario where it dumps so much heat while running barely at 50-60 rpm, as in quiet, it's highly impressive. Next up is ADA64 which should put the most pressure on the cooling system. As you can see the D12L still manages to keep everything under control once again while being quiet. If a CPU cooler manages to survive the torture test then a benchmark run in a gaming scenario should be a walk in the park. Games are not that stressful as a synthetic torture test, but are a great indicator of real life usage. So Assassin's Creed Valhalla usually averages around 40-50% to total CPU usage in all scenarios and thus the T12L has no problems whatsoever. The noise output test is an important challenge for any CPU cooler since if you can't live with the noise then this negates any of the other advantages. In my tests the D12L even in a dual fan setup is still pretty silent even in mid load. Also have a listen for yourself for the stock fan scenario. Well, there you have it guys, fair and square, Noctua has delivered to the market basically a compact hybrid version of its D15S or a sized up D9L, depending how you wanna look at it. They managed to achieve this incredible 145mm height by offering a rounder frame for its popular A12X25 fans, thus making the CPU cooler flatter overall. Of course, this will limit you to install only Noctua's fans since they use a different pattern for the mounting holes. Nevertheless, the D12L proves to be highly capable in the cooling and noise department, even in an overclock scenario because of its dual heating construction. All the Noctua hallmarks are still there from the impeccable build construction to the generous accessories. The only heads up is that if you want to opt for the dual fan setup, make sure you use LP RAM kits. Once again, thank you for watching guys and please feel free to interact with all of the famous buttons like like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Alex out.